Joining us by phone to talk about our next topic is Bobby from Lakeland, Florida. Bobby, what's going on? Hello, doctors. I've been battling recurrent bouts of staph infections, specifically MRSA, for the last two years. I'm a teacher, and I seem to improve over the summers, but the cycle of infections returns once I return to work. Hmm. Um, I haven't seen any signs of infection since June and have been back to work for three weeks. Uh, I'm completely anxiety-ridden, wondering when the next infection will present itself. And I'm just wondering, too, if I'm ever going to be completely staff-free. Well, Bobby, I know this is such a frustrating problem. You're mm -hmm. not alone. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Spellberg hasn't left the building. He's an infectious disease specialist as well as assistant professor of medicine at the David Geffen School of Medicine. And we do see a lot of recurring MRSA. Bobby's case is not unique. Tell not us about all. that. And Travis, I'm sure you see tons of it in the emergency room. MRSA tends to recur, as does more drug susceptible staff. It's just, and we don't understand why some people recur and others don't, and the recurrences, 5, 10, 15, 20 times. The good news is ultimately it tends to burn itself out. And again, we don't really understand why that happens either. And before the show today, Jillian was asking, you know, how do I catch MRSA? Because mm -hmm. everyone is afraid, oh my gosh, am I going to catch MRSA? But the reality is 20, 30% of us could be walking around with it on our skin right now. Yeah. I mean, you look around this room, mm -hmm. there are people yeah. in this room oh, who yeah. have MRSA on their skin and everyone's now, <laughs> but, but some of us don't, don't get these, these infections from it, right? Right, so when you get infected with staph, you typically get infected with the staph you're carrying on your body. It's not so much that you've acquired it from someone else. And we don't understand why some people carry it and get infected and other people carry it and don't get infected. But let's talk, in Bobby's case, or anyone else out there suffering with multiple bouts, steps they can take to potentially eradicate this from their skin. There are things that you can try, like bleach baths. You put a quarter cup of bleach in a bathtub of lukewarm water and soak in it for 15 to 20 minutes a couple times a week, and then you rinse it off afterwards. And there are products like chlorhexidine, which are available over the counter in a pharmacy, and it's, it's a kind of soap that you can bathe with that will reduce the amount of staph on your skin. And you're, you're exactly right. I deploy that in patients that have had multiple recurrences, and you're just trying to break the cycle. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like Bobby may have broken the cycle. Entirely on possible. Wood, right? But now yep. she's back at school, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, it's <laughs> always a challenge. Dr. Spellberg, thank you so much sure. for your insight. Yeah. Bobby, good luck with the school year, and hopefully... You'll stay infection-free. Thanks for joining us.